Today I'm going to show you all how to take a DVD and put it on your iDevice, iPhone, iPod, whatever you call it. And this only works on the Mac. You can do it on PC, but you have to do it completely differently or just different in a different way. It's much easier on the Mac anyway. So, and um, as you can see, I have a all my DVDs on iTunes and I can watch them on my iPhone. And what's really cool about it is you can um, copy DVDs um, for your iPhone, such as Star Wars, because they don't have Star Wars in the iTunes store, so it's really cool. And normally today, they all the DVDs come out with digital copies, but most of them don't, so it's pretty cool to have this program. It's complete. It's free. So um, we're going to go on the, our internet internet browser. And I uh, already got it, but here's a handbrake. You just Google handbrake, and it'll, it's the first thing that shows up. And you download it right here. And then you're going to get VLC and download that too. And they're not much, they don't take up much memory. And then you install them, and I've already got them right here. So, first, I'm going to open up VLC. Um, and I'm going to take a DVD of uh, Avatar. I have it on Blu-ray, but it comes with the DVD. So I'm going to insert that into my computer. And the DVD player may show up the application, so just bear with me. Alright, so we're going to open this up in VLC. And you can do this in DVD, but I, I just like doing VLC. So I'm going to open disk. And we're going to play. The reason why I'm using VLC is because you can check the titles. So here, you go up here to uh, playback title. And right here, it tells you what title you're currently playing. It's title one. Usually with DVDs they always have a uh, they try to prevent um, you know copyright and stuff. Try to prevent people from copying. So uh, like the Disney DVDs they will put a hundred titles and uh, only one title is right. And uh, and the the handbrake picks the title with the most, the uh, the highest length, and so um, the titles could trick the, uh, the the handbrake into doing a false title, and you'll get this movie with different scenes uh, jumbled up. So you just you want everything in the right order. So we know it's title one. I'm going to exit and go to handbrake. Open. And then we're going to pick Avatar, video TS. Open. And uh, already, um, it picked title one. And that's weird. But it picked title one, which is the most. And this is not as copyright, I mean, disprotected like the other videos. But here it is. And it loaded it. Um, and you got all your preferences. Right here, we're going to go to uh, Universal. What Universal does is it, it uh, makes a format 
that could work on any iDevice, iPod device. And it looks really good on uh, the iPhone, the video quality. You can do iPhone iPod Touch, and it does uh, take up less memory, a half a gigabyte. But I think it's better off to use a universal. And it takes a big, about a gigabyte as a, like a normal um, iTunes thing. And then what you do is go to, uh, you pick universal, and then you go start. And there you go, it's starting the, the queue. And uh, make sure you uh, select the right file de destination that you prefer. I, I prefer a desktop. So right here it says four hours. It may change. Usually with a, if you do an iPod, iPhone, iPod Touch, it'll take like 30 minutes. But with the Universal, it takes longer. And usually it really takes about an hour. So, so it is uh, time consuming, but you can do this. Um, bef watch this before you go shopping or something. Come back and it'll be ready for you. So there you have it. And uh, as you can see, Avatar is right here. It's not finished. It goes right there, and then um, when it's done, you just click, drag it to your to here iTunes, and then if you want, you can go into uh, Get Info, and you can get an artwork, and you can paste. You can just click and drag a uh, the DVD artwork onto there. Uh, you you can get DVD artwork off Google. And also you can rename it and have the year, whatever. And that's it. That's how you put um, your DVD on your iPhone. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.